So for number one, we want to write the following sets um, by using set notation. So for item A, we want to write the set of all natural numbers uh, strictly less than six. So first, we have to say that our element is going to be x, but we have to say where we're getting that x from, right? So it is going to be from the natural numbers, so that's where we get it from. And then we say that it can be any natural number as long as it is less than 6. So that's it for item A. For item B, we want to take it from the set of integers. So we're going to produce an x belonging to the set of integers um, such that x squared is less than 17. And the, you can see here the reason that picking the set is so important because if I were to pick um, x from the natural numbers, then the x's would be like um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But from the integers, it would be minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and so forth. Um, so for c, we want to choose all the numbers between 2 and 6. And so these will be the real numbers, right? Because you can choose, say, pi, which is between 2 and 6. You could choose, um, you could choose something like 5 halves. So we're going to say x belonging to the real numbers. So that's where we get our x from, such that um, x is between 6 included and between 2 included. And then for d, we're going to have um, x belonging to the real numbers. Uh, once more, we want to choose every single value between them. But now the difference is that although 9 is included, because that's a closed bracket, um, negative 1 is excluded. So it has to be greater than negative 1. And for E, we're going to have including negative 5 going all the way out to negative 1. So once more, we do have to choose the real numbers because it's every possible number in between them. Um, and countably infinite, where x is less than 1 excluded, but greater than negative uh, 5 included. And lastly, for f, we're going to have the set of rational numbers less than minus 1. So we're going to choose an x belonging to the rational numbers, right? That's where we get it from, um, such that x is going to be less than negative 1. And that is it for number 1.